wit. I'm no wit. I am innocent of a witch. Mr. Giles Corey, exhausted at the age of 30, is dreaded by so many of his fellow Salemites. He may be one who remains active in the church, but his own conflicted past and current decisions will lead to his own demise. He also faces such troubles with his wife Martha, but will come to find true compassion before his time ceases. All I do for these people, I join their church, engage in local affairs, and all I receive in return are some rather narrow glances. They doth not deserve my company. All right, what be the eye for? May a man such as I get a moment's peace without gawkers like thee. At ease, I was but merely carrying on, same as thee. witchcraft accusations floating about. Father! I mean, Mr. Corey, where has Mother gone? Those men came storming about and I... Boy, it is not a matter which I can explain entirely at this point. Great change is coming upon to Salem. And not for the best. against Martha Corey, the wife of Giles Corey of Salem Farm, for suspicion of having committed sundry acts of witchcraft, and thereby done much hurt and injury unto the bodies of Ann Putnam, the wife of Thomas Putnam. You are now in the hands of authority. Tell me now why you hurt these persons. I do not. Who doth? May I go to prayer? It is most necessary. We do not send for you to go to prayer, but tell me now why you hurt them. I am an innocent person. I never have to do with witchcraft since I was born. I am a gospel woman. Do you not see that these persons complain of thee? Now tell us of who hurt them then. I don't know. If thou be guilty of this fact, doth you think it may be hidden from us? Only the Lord knows. Well then tell us what you know of this matter. It is quite so obvious, frankly. Thou cannot ignore such matters as your clothes. What have ye, Mr. Corey? 
Last Saturday, my wife and I attended prayer when she acted peculiar, not voicing herself to the Lord. Then, evening time. She would not rest, for she seemed to be amidst a spell near our fireplace. This was no prayer, I suppose, as such was done unbeknownst to me. That's a witch. Cannot be. Judge Hawthorne, I have returned to recant my position. Your Honor, there is evidence to suggest otherwise. My wife is innocent. Very well, very well. I can arrange for the a trial to that your perspective will be explored. Now, go on about your own day, for you are pardoned. John, I fear we may have another witch in our midst. So I've seen as well. Mr. Corey, I recall. Indeed, for he has told me he wishes to recant his position and defend his wife. Surely, he must also be one of them. My dearest daughter, Ruth, remaineth traumatized by this damned witchcraft. Thusly, we must seize him immediately. In fact, let's hunt them all down. Mr. Corey, your many moons of witchcraft are numbered. For now, you will be examined by the judge. Do not struggle, or you shall face far greater punishment. You are brought before all authority upon high suspicion of thundry acts of witchcraft. Now tell us the truth in this matter. I hope through the goodness of God I shall. For that matter, I had no hand in, in my life. Hath he hurt you too? You see, Mr. Corey, they accuse you, your appearance and all. What do you say? What is the truth? Never did I hurt them. Hath you ever entered a contract with the devil? Temptations, perhaps? Nay, none such has happened. You certainly made such happen, for the fright that you've inflicted upon these people. <laughs> Anything more to contribute before we move on to the legitimate trial? For imprisoning my wife, for narrowly accusing decent people of Salem, all I have is resentment toward this establishment. I doth not wish to engage in such a backward, fruitless trial. Go on. Imprison me or execute me. See what I can. Silence! Any legitimate contributions? You are hereby incarcerated until your indictment is fully determined. I never thought it would come to this, dearest Giles. Nor did I. 
As of now, death looms above us, closer than ever before. Yes, and all over false accusations regarding witchcraft. Mankind hath many mistakes upon their shoulders. And here we remain as examples of such. Let us remain joyful, showing forgiveness to the crooked. As Christ himself said, Forgive, for they do not know what they do. Yes, I suppose that is best. Wait, it is. Tis the year 1678, a time in which Miss Bridget Bishop here faces the prelude to what will become history in the making. She faces a troubled past, remarried despite bearing three additional children. This past, as well as her bold actions, test the local Salemites in their faith, eventually to quite a vehement breaking point. Become manservant as the Bible doth declare. That be something, now? Nay! The Bible bringeth clarity to woman, possessing greater ability than such. Christians shall succeed as a confident woman, and I shall see to it. Arg! What be your malfunction, woman? My malfunction? What about thine own malfunction?
Thou hast been dismissed, Mrs. Bishop, for thou proves not to be a witch, despite thine late husband's saying amidst marriage. No trace of demon is within thee, and thou can claim your husband's property. Judge Hawthorne. Bishop, you are now brought before authority to give uh, your account of what witchcraft you are acquainted with. I take all of these people to witness that I am clear. Hath this woman hurt you? Yes, yes. <laughs> I had never seen these persons, nor was I here before them. There are those here that also believe that thou bewitched thine husband to death. If it please your worship, I know nothing of it. Why, if you have not wrote in the book, yet tell me how far you've gone. Have you not to do with familiar spirits? I have no familiarity with the devil. How is it then that your appearance doth hurt these? I am innocent. Yet you seem to act witchcraft before us by the motion of your body, which influences the afflicted. I know nothing of it. I am innocent to a witch. I know not what a witch is. How do you know then that you are not a witch, and yet not know what a witch is? I, I do not understand what you say. How can you know you are no witch, yet not know what a witch is? I am clear, for if I were any such person, you should know it. You may threaten, but you can do no more than you are permitted. I am innocent of a witch! <laughs> Until your indictment is fully determined. 